Hey guys, the Amazing Caleb here, and today is another The Amazing Caleb sounding blog video. Not just any outing blog video, it's the Autistic Outing Blog video. The Autism Game Night. Maybe I'll tell you, but I'm Caleb, not gonna tell him. Okay. Okay, he doesn't want to know, I'm not gonna say. Okay, yeah. which am I gonna. I don't either. I just, I just started studying Spanish as like, I just started learning how to do, I just started learning Spanish as just something fun to do. Well, what kind of Spanish? Latin or Castilian? Well, let me give you some words that I learned. Aquí. Uh, aquí. Uh, yeah. Is that, what? what's that for you? What does that thing think of Latin or Castilian? I have no idea. I was just, just asking a simple question. What kind of Spanish it I is? I don't really know, honestly. They didn't give me a kind. Okay, there's Castilian in Spanish in Europe, where they say corazón with a breathy sound in Europe. While, while Latin American Spanish saying corazón with a C. Corazón. Corazón, yeah. Pero, gato. <laughs> Sorry, they say gato. Gato. Oh, that's me. That means cat, right? <laughs> okay, let's. I studied German for a brief period. Got halfway through that. Okay. I'm trying to still trying to finish that. German. German? <laughs> yeah. Very harsh. So we're four players. That uh, looks a bit. I'll take that as a five players. <laughs> no, I have that problem. No wait, that's four. I don't know. Well five or, or six. Six pl six players? I thought it was I thought it was four players Uno according to the original Xbox Live game Uno. Okay. Hey. Okay. Okay, one, two, three, four. Oh, it was not me. Oh, oh I just, I, I just, I just put the. I, I thought. Oh, never mind. I, I thought it was my turn. Now it's your turn. Yeah. Put down the drop board. Yeah. I'm in that. <laughs> I'm really a music nerd. What color did you make it? Blue. Blue? Oh, I'm so sorry. Do. Again? <laughs> well, that's the only one I can find in that color. Does Does anybody see the dis new Disney movies like Turning Red or Encanto? I've seen Encanto. Yeah, I've seen I both like of those. I like, yeah, I like both. both. Good. Have you? Has anyone? Did anyone see Mo? Did anyone Moana see too? Yeah. Wait, no. <laughs> did anyone see Maleficent recently? Uh, oh no! It was like another Disney movie, the remake. <laughs> I. I, I like Maleficent. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I really prefer. I, like that I really prefer the original Sleeping Beauty. Yeah, I like the original Sleeping Beauty. Maybe it's just me. Yeah. Maybe it's just me, but on the rare occasions I watch movies, I like to watch either action or, or dark. Like you know, like Maleficent. I like to watch either action or dark. Like, you know, like action or dark. Like, you know, like I'm into family and anime and actions too, like The Mummy 1999. Have you watched Scream? You know, the 1999 one with Brendan Fraser? I like It's very good. Oh. That's actually something I wouldn't mind seeing. 
Does anybody have a Does anybody have a Disney princess favorite? I really like. That's what most people know. See, I like. John Wick. I also like Tangled. Oh yeah. And I also like Brave with Merida. Yeah, yeah. I dressed up as Merida for Halloween when I was like eight. Nice. I think it's your turn. So it is. So it is. All the reverse. Back to CJ. That was when the card had that color. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, so is Uno reverse now, is it? I see that CJ's Papa Cat is Dragon Ball Z, right? It is Dragon Ball Z. Your favorite anime? It's one of the Disney movies I really like is Coco. Oh, yeah, I like that one too. The Spanish the okay. Latin music. Group okay, this. Is me. Eight. Uh, it's up to that point. I might have to. All right, I don't know. I'm really into anime dub since. I I'm into Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, Naruto, Dragon Ball Z, even Sailor Moon. <laughs> My favorite dub for Sailor Moon was the Fist dub, oh. where Stephanie, the voice of Hinata Hyuga, played as Uzaki Tsukino. Oh. Oh you ever saw the Fist dub of Sailor Moon? I have not seen it. Oh, okay. I have to, uh, not I watch too much anime. Cartoons? Well, like drama shows, like. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Lawn order. Lawn order. Uh, uh, what color? Uh, green. <laughs> oh, wait, I have to draw four? Yeah. And green. That would be a crime show. I want to say, I like, the one I'm wait, watching for. What, 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 what color do you say? Uh, green. Okay. One show I've been watching is Blacklist. I've heard of it. It's, it's um, my two favorite genres all together. It's um, crime, drama, and soap opera. Right before I was watching Sailor Moon Anne and the Miraculous Ladybug, I really watched the Four Kiss Dub with the Winx Club. Oh, I love the Winx Club. Four Kiss Dub was my favorite. Nice. Oh, okay. So back in high school, I discovered Sailor Moon. And now, as an adult, I discover Miraculous Ladybug. <laughs> I love that show, yeah. It's a Netflix show, but it's... I mean, it's good, but it's a little violent, so... I, I mean, I watch Criminal Minds, so that's uh, like my favorite. Miraculous Ladybug is both on Netflix and Disney+. Plus. I... Uh, I'm reversing the direction of gameplay. Ah, uh, to me. Yeah. I'm sorry, I skipped. I, I have no idea, I'm just trying to get rid Caleb. of cards. Caleb, see your face. Yes. Caleb with a K. Okay, Caleb with a K. Starts. Okay, wow. 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 Red. Red. All right, Caleb with the C places. Uh, no, that's Caleb with the C turn. You just changed the color. That was your placing. Oh. Oops. No worries. Yeah. Okay. I, I used to make that mistake all the time as well. That's the only red I have. So your turn just got skipped. I'm sorry. Um. Well, I'm gonna put down. I have a lot of red supplies. So I, I, I got. Oh wait, I'm triple Yeah, you know, I'm thinking we might need to get one of my decks out so that way we need to draw. Debating it. Uh, blue. Perhaps it's just the autism. Perhaps it's just the autism. Perhaps it's the Perhaps it's the old Oh, I, I, I was looking for a blow uh, for foreign. Now I no, have a blue form. Uh, you, you also have to, you have to draw as well. So oh. Run out cards eventually. Well, what you do is you take some of the cards at the bottom of that. So then you keep that and you draw three more. Oh, yeah. Seriously? My parents are 
honestly, because I've never driven this before, and I just got my driver's license, like, I ten months ago. How well do you drive? How well do I drive? I drive pretty well. I just I don't read maps very well. Oh, speaking of driver licenses, I was really, really hoping that SpongeBob might get his driver license someday. <laughs> okay, that would be cool. And it's blue. Caleb with the sea is your turn. No matter how many times he tried and Mrs. Puff's boating school, he always Green. fails. Green. Okay. CJ. No matter how hard he tried and Mrs. Puff's boating school. I apologize. This is the only green I have. It's okay. I didn't have any greens anyways. Maybe that'll get you a green. You know what? I have no greens. I'm actually... No one has any greens. It's a madhouse. When I was little, I... While I was watching Cartoon Network when I was little, I first discovered Total Drama. Really? It's just only Total Drama <laughs> action. Triple T! You know, there Triple Star Wars Triple Clone T. Wars. Oh, yeah. Star Wars The Clone Wars? Yeah, but I saw that. There you go. Alright, your turn. I... It's a pretty good show. Alright, your turn, Caleb with a K. It's a pretty good show, but as you get further into, I think they were seven seasons. Oh, wow. Seven seasons. Oh, oh, my bad. But as you get further into the show, it gets I mean, darker. It gets a little darker. Not super dark. Maybe but it, take it takes place between the the Clone Wars episode two and Revenge of the Sith, right? That's right. It takes place in between that time. Uh, I don't have a red. While I was watching Total Trauma, I didn't know it takes place in Canada, Toronto. I love Total Trauma. Was I rude to say I think they need to improve how they present? The only Total Drama I ever watched well, when know, I was little was Total Drama improved. Action. Oh, oh, nice. you know? I, my favorite is... Everyone can improve it. Is, I, I like Action, thing. but I like the first season I think the best. It's, it's timing of the first season. Season. Yeah. 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 This is it makes one of the best survivor. That's, that's right there. What kind of disgusting food in the episode brunch of disgustingness gross you out the most? What episode of Bizarre Foods grosses people off the most? I think episode 14, <laughs> Brunch of Disgustiness? Bizarre Foods? Oh, in Total Drama, there was a challenge where they had to eat gross food. I mean, really like yeah, like cockroach juice, grasshopper pizza with jellyfish and anchovies. I'd probably never eat that. Has anyone ever seen Me yeah. neither. Hey, Has anyone ever seen Bizarre Foods with Andrew Zimran? I've uh, not seen that. Wait, I have seen Chopped, where they put a pig's head in the back. Well, wait a minute, did Total Drama take that inspiration from that show? So, Total Drama is a parody of Survivor. And I did not Green. notice that until you tell me. All my life, all the voice casts were Americans, but little did I know there is Canadians. Oh, yeah. I yeah. thought... I thought the Canadians accents are similar to Americans. I hate to be mean, but Canadians are not remotely like Americans at all. They're not. I'm sorry. Okay, so <laughs> they're different from us. Yes. Just like how French Canadians are different from Europeans in France, Paris. Yeah, if you've ever, if you've ever been around a, if you've ever been around British people, they're very different to Americans. I'm sorry. British. Does anybody watch uh, the Harry Potter film series? Love that. Yes. yes. Loved it. I'm a Hufflepuff. I'm according to, according yes. to, uh, I'm Gryffindor too. Yeah. Well, apparently the last time I took that test, they said I. Uh, apparently, when I last. When I first that, watched the opening of Harry Potter and the Deathly House Part Two. Apparently. That I, music was very sad. Yeah, it was. Apparently, when I took I that. Apparently the name of this music is Lily Seam. Yeah. Never found it. Oh, yeah, apparently, I found out. Younger, apparently, like they grouped me at the Slytherin. So. I liked it when I was younger, but. Like it means not Slytherin is the only bad. It means you got ambition. Oh, no. Which I have plenty of. That skipped. So then it goes to Caleb with a C. I first discovered Batman Arkham Asylum in, in video game on the Xbox 360. I like Assassin's Creed. Same. I like simple uh, yeah. games like the Lego ones, Lego Indiana Jones. Oh, I love stuff. Lego Indiana Jones. Hey. <laughs> well, I love yeah, Lego video games. The minifigures are so cute. When you play Lego video games, what minifigure do you think is the cutest? Oh boy, it depends what uh, type of Lego video game I'm playing. Because I do Lego Star Wars, Lego Indiana Jones. You know. Raiders of the Lost Ark is the, the first the arc. I think it's um, Ark of the Covenant. Ooh, no. Raiders of the Lost Ark. Where they're in Egypt, sure yeah. he just shoots the guy. Where, yeah. where the, points, the Raiders of the Lost Ark is the first movie. Yeah, so apparently it's probably I my went, favorite. Apparently I went down, so apparently I read the other day that Harrison Ford, the guy who played Indiana Jones, was and sick Han when they Solo. shot that film. Oh yes, yeah, so he just, Wait, he just was not the first, he just shot him. 
so they request, <laughs> yeah. so he requested the, to the director to shoot him instead because he was sick. Yep. Oh, I didn't right, know that about that. That's interesting. Yep. Right. That was a very so, risky yeah. move. Oh, okay. When I was playing Lego Indiana Jones, that when I reached the Temple of Doom mark, they have to censor the heart removal parts. Or you know what they based you know base that off of? Hmm. The Aztecs and the Mayans, because the Aztecs and oh, yeah, the Mayans oh, and the other central yeah. The Temple of the Lion the took that inspiration, the heart removal scene. Okay, um, Is that what you're saying? Yeah. They took inspiration from the Mayan and Aztecs. That's what I'm. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm uh, not surprised actually. I definitely did not know that. I didn't, but I'm not surprised. Go read a history book. To tell you. Sorry, not to be dismissive. But... That's not your turn. Oh, rats. Just triple T. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ooh! Yeah, yeah, what's your yeah, favorite history, history gotta be story? Math is part of my weakest. For the yeah, record, I, think... I am so horrible at math that I cannot do math in public to save my life. Yeah, same. What kind of math? Addition? Okay. Okay. Subtraction? It doesn't matter what it is. Can't do it in public to save my life. Well, I mean, I know simple things like one plus one, but if you start saying complicated things like seven times nine... <laughs> nope. Completely breaks my head. I can't even do math in private. Poor guy. <laughs> I have to have a calculator. Yeah, same. That's why I have an app on my phone. I have to have a calculator. I need to have the calculator at all times too. Yeah, I just got one on my phone as an app, and I'm just like, now I don't need to do math in my head anymore. I first discovered the two plus two is four part on the school episode of Almost World. Does anybody remember the old school Almost World? Never heard of it, sorry. No, I haven't heard of it. It was a very cute uh, segment uh, on Sesame life. Street. Featuring oh, cute little red monster Almo himself. Yeah, I remember uh, I'm Elmo. putting down a yellow. A very yeah, cute yeah. monster. When I was two years old, I first discovered Soul Calibur. Only Soul Calibur 2. Does anybody play Soul Calibur? No. <laughs> That's one of my artificer. I first discovered yeah. Soul Calibur 2 on the Xbox, the yeah, old I have Xbox. A pot and I have a bag of holding. All my clothes. I don't know what it means. No, it's not supposed to hold. All right, there you go. You like Dr. Seuss? Yeah, I do. I like the Lorax. Oh, mine's pretty. Uh, yeah, got the hat. The Lorax was your favorite? Yeah, Lorax is my favorite. I forgot how many. What kind of Lorax? The cartoon illumination one? Well, both that and the book I enjoy. Oh, well, because turtles, turtles live forever. I first discovered Soul Calibur 2 when I was two when years old. So, on the original uh, Xbox and the cute no, part is, I said Soul guys, Calibur uh, 2, that too. Out, hey, hey, I do no, not have any green. So you draw until you get one. Okay. Not made of the. That works. You can get. What color? Green. Green. Oh. Alright, your turn. Oh, like green! Lovely. I consider oh, myself a uh, very good at it. I got so I much tell green. You I'm gonna say I, I can like do I'm that too. Well, that's all for today. Be sure to subscribe for more videos from the amazing Caleb himself.